Jack Spirk with RSSFIME. Today I'm going to demonstrate for you uh, the simple free version of RSSFIME for combining multiple RSS feeds and displaying them on any website that runs PHP. To shortcut things, I've already gone out and I've found three feeds I want to put together. I'm going to go through them with you and explain to you kind of why I picked them and, and how they work. I'm going to show you where everything goes and show you how to use the tool and uh, show you how you can put this code on, any, again, any website running PHP uh, anywhere on the Internet. So what we decided to do just to make this demo kind of relevant to what we're doing is we're doing a feed on RSS uh, technology. So we've named our feed, classified it as Internet, and we've tagged it. Um, uh, RSS, RSS feeds and technology so that it will be easy to find for use again in the future and we'll know what we're looking for if we want to use the same feed somewhere else. What I did was I simply went to Google's blog search and I ran a search for RSS marketing. So these are different things that people are doing uh, and talking about on uh, blogs about RSS marketing. And I sorted by date so it would be current content and I was simply in my Firefox browser uh, then clicked on subscribe to RSS and grabbed that feed. Uh, did the same thing, went over to uh, Live Search, and Live Search now runs RSS feeds out of their news search. So I searched here for RSS technology and uh, sorted it by the most recent news stories. And again, this is actually the feed that I've already cut and pasted into RSS of Me. And then I went over to the RSS specifications blog, which is a constantly updated blog with great content about RSS. And uh, came up here and also said subscribe to the blog. I can subscribe to the blog or the articles. So this gave me three different feeds that I can bring together to create new, interesting, relevant content uh, that will be displayed as HTML on any website again where I paste this code that's using PHP. So all I did was take those three feeds that I've just shown you and place them here. Now I can set how many items I want from each feed. I'm going to say two from the blog search, two from uh, the, uh, the live.com search, and uh, we're going to go ahead and leave it at three from feed, for feed three from the RSS specifications blog. Uh, I'm going to click this this option. This is one of the options that free users have is to open links in a new window. That's really all you have. And then for free users that don't have to log in, we employ a CAPTCHA to make sure that spam bots don't come here and create a whole bunch of stuff in the RSS cloud that we don't want to see. Once that's all done, we can simply click Preview Feed. And you'll see down here, this is exactly how the feed will display on any website that you place it on. Now you may be thinking it's kind of short, it's got this uh, gray background and all, I want to change the way it looks. Well if you create a free user account you'll be able to have more modifications and we'll show you that in our next video uh, in these series of videos. But that's if you just want to try it out and use it without registering, this is the only way you can manip manipulate the feed. Uh, but what you'll see is again items from each one of these feeds all brought together and when you're ready to actually put this on your web page simply click save feed and once you do that, it'll take you to a page, and it'll give you your code. Now, uh, the site builder URL, you don't really need to worry about that right now, but I'm going to use it to show you what the feed will look like when it's actually displayed on your site. You'll simply take this data right here, and you'll paste that on any PHP-based web page, and all of this data will be displayed as standard written out HTML, which will make it look like static content to the search engines, but yet you are going to have uh, constantly updated content on your site. And again, when it's displayed, it will look exactly like this. So that sums up how you quickly use the free version of RSSify Me. Again, please tune in and see what our registered users are able to do in the next video in the series.